Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy. I just wanted to go ahead today and film makeup um, for winter and also how I do it one-handed because I know that previous videos I have just shown my face so it's not really like you cannot really see my arm not really working properly. I have hemidystonia which makes my muscles contract and spasm involuntarily. I will go ahead and link those videos down below. So first things first I'm gonna go ahead and pull all my hair out of the face just because like I don't know how some YouTubers do it with like hair all dolled up and I'm like, um, hang up because I cannot do it like that, you know? Like that definitely does take quite a skill for you to do your makeup with your hair all over your face. So I always like to have like a palette of some, ooh, this one is dirty, but real life here. That way I can just place my products there that I will be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. It creates like a smoothing canvas. That's why I love this one too. Oh, you can see it tensing up, huh? Ah! Break time. <laughs> uh, so sometimes also what I like to do with my arm when it starts to spasm out like that is just like hold it like out on the back side like this that way it's not like as intense and frustrating <laughs> i really wanted to try the forever skin glow dior 24 hour radiant foundation just because since it's radiant it's not as drying so i'm gonna just go ahead and apply it with my finger first oh yeah nope this is not my shade. I mean, it could be during summer, but it's definitely not for winter. Whoopsie. I mainly like to apply it wherever it needs the most coverage, which as we know is probably my entire face right now. I can see it be radiant, but I cannot see it like full coverage maybe this kind of like a low to medium coverage i don't know why i thought that this was going to be full coverage though either way with the big radiant on its name <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and grab born this way ethereal light illuminating smoothing concealer and this is in the shade buttercup so what i like to do when opening stuff is either a with my teeth which that you shouldn't be doing Lucia or what I do is I take my thumb out of the way because like as you can see the thumb is like tuck beneath there but what I like to do is tuck my thumb out of the way and then that way I can place the stuff in here and then the thumb just like it's kind of like a holder so that's how we hold things over here um so then you just go ahead and open it and just apply some on those under eye bags i have like some veins up here i like to just go ahead and conceal those then also over here the lids go on with my charlotte tilbury beautiful skin sun kiss glow bronzer that way we can bronze up the skin so i just like to go ahead and follow the hollow of the natural cheekbone and go like a little bit higher than that um but like still covering that area just so it all looks a little bit natural Ish. if you do not have like a lot of that shade what you want to do is just go ahead and line up like any it could be like a toothbrush <laughs> meanwhile i'm in the bathroom area be like a brush so you want to go ahead and make sure that you're aligning the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth and that's where bronzer or contour needs to go so like that area boom shakalaka then you begin to apply And then with whatever is on the product, I just like to go ahead and blend that out everywhere else. That way it doesn't look like this baba boom line on your face. Cause I mean, even though that was a trend back then, um, I don't really enjoy that anymore at least. Do the same thing to the other side. Apply some over my forehead. That way we can create a one head. Then over the sides of the nose, just so we can bring back the natural contours. And then 
what I like to do personal going in with a, like a super detailed brush this is by Dose of Colors I believe that this was in one of their eyeshadow palettes which I love this so like I'm gonna just go ahead and dip it onto the bronzer and I'm just gonna go ahead and add like a line over here and then over here which as you can see like I have like a natural indentation there and I don't know why but I like it so I'm just gonna go ahead and accentuate it and bring it back and then what I like about this brush is that it has like a blending brush on the other side perfect for like these details that I want to add and then if you feel like the nose bronzer hasn't really fully been in there you can just go ahead and add it with this brush because that is perfect for it I'm just gonna go ahead and reduce my triple chin action over here and now that I think that all of that has fully set in I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my beauty sponge and I really wanted to try it because it's actually very soft and blend out the concealer but primarily keeping it at that area that I placed it I'm gonna go ahead and add this cuddly grape water just because it soothes as and it moisturizes, which we definitely need that. <laughs> I'm gonna just go ahead and grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow waist because this is easy peasy. Oh my god, wait, we almost forget about the most important part blush. So I'm gonna go on in with this Merit Flush Balm in the shade Mars. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go on in with the brows, which these brows definitely do need some help. And then I'm going to go on in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills the Brow Gel. So whenever I cannot um, open them with my thumb just because like that hole is not as big, um, just go ahead and I open it like with my fingers. So like that. Then I put it back on there and then I just... So then I'm just going to go ahead and grab my Laura Mercier translucent loosening powder and just go ahead and apply that underneath the eyes but also over the top of the lids and then also like over the sides of the nose on the top of the nose a little bit on the forehead and then also around the mouth then i'm gonna go ahead and grab my colourpop flexitarian super shock cheek cheek like that over the highest points of the cheekbones then i'm gonna go ahead and grab the Too Faced just peachy mattes eyeshadow palette oh my goodness that smell is really great so with a fluffy blending brush i'm gonna go ahead and grab the peach tea a little bit of that one and apply that just like all over my eye but definitely concentrating that on the crease and upper crease for me just because i do have hooded eyelids but if you do not then just concentrate that on your eye crease and then with the with like a pencil brush i'm gonna go ahead and grab that same peach tree shade i'm gonna go ahead and run it underneath the eye so like so And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab like a smaller blending brush and a plant peach tarp just like a tiny bit. And then for those little dots that you usually get over the top there, don't worry about them. Let them dry off first. And then we're gonna go ahead and just erase those with a q-tip later on but you have to make sure that it is all fully dried otherwise if it's still wet um it's kind of like counterproductive because then it's gonna drag all the whiteness out as opposed to just like pooping out all of the mascara oh another spasm oh wait for me spasm shit that one 
one didn't necessarily wait for me. <laughs> okay, this little elf, um, I think it was kind of like a lip stain. And yeah, so this is the finished look. You know, it's not too heavy on the foundation, not too matte. Um, it's definitely showing through all of the imperfections that we all got, but you know what? That is a part of life. Hope you take care and I will be seeing you soon. Bye now.